Hey yo, what's poppin' you guys? Welcome back. I'm Arius Lannister. This is Hogwarts Legacy and let's get back into it. As you guys know, we just learned to fly. We just got a broomstick. That bitch just walked through my shot. As you see, I'm doing an intro here. How rude, okay? That was disrespect. Anyways, we just learned to fly. I got a broom. Let's keep going, all right? So Professor Weasley wants to talk. I don't know what she wants to talk to me about and I'm a little worried might have to do with the trouble I got into with her grandson. Oh, what is this? I mean her nephew. A hidden chest. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> Thought I got locked in there. Nice. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Professor Weasley. Professor? Um, somewhere away from prying eyes. Huh. Maybe like through the wall, platform nine and three quarters type vibe. Ooh, maybe I was right. A little different, but kind of right. What is this? Uh. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. I didn't really do anything, Professor. Shall we? I'll sure, you, Professor. Yeah, I mean, I'm interested. Let's go check this shit out. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've huh. managed to reveal the room on your own. A million bucks! While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, okay, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Let me also. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing Ooh. spell. You can cast okay. Evanesco to vanish. Can I use this on my little sister? Such as <laughs> chairs and other things here in the room. Sweet. Blended. Okay. Now, cast Evanesco. Evanesco! Excellent work. Wow. You'll note that, that you are awesome. now in possession of Moonstone. Yeah, we I shall see discuss that. its uses later. Let's move on. Sure. So that was a pretty cool spell, I won't lie, I like that. Wait, Can I use it on is my sister X. is the real question though. What is it? what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? I'm, I'm picking up whatever I can find. Hey, I waited for you for goodness. ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few my more inches of parchment life. than you expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely T. Huh. Someone's I'll having a meeting. Still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we so make it sure. Evanesco. I like that. Oh, look at this. The candles. They're leading me somewhere. <clears throat> nice. Look at that. Checkered gloves. I fuck with that. I fuck with that. Heavy. Might as well have a quick glass of tea while I'm here. Oh! Whoa! What the? Incendio. Sorry, that little dog scared the shit out of me. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Hmm. I don't know what precarious means, but I wish I, I, I wish I did. Stop them. Whoa. Oh, well, calm it down. That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know if I did that or not, but that thing scared me for a moment. Bit offended, the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Interesting, everything kind of little, like, does something. I don't want to, like, walk past something important. I'm trying to give it a good look around. Whoa, did an axe just come out of there? Accio. Incendio. Huh. Whoa. 
That was beautiful. It was a scene out of a movie. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around it here? What was that? Well, what was what? I missed it. Was that a golden snitch? Really? Accurate. You should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> what do we got here? Love you, sir. Huh, okay, cool. I didn't even need to go in there. Nice. Let's keep moving on. I hope that house elf can find us in here. I hope I can find my way out of here is what I hope. What do we got over here? With candles? Ooh, a way to zoom back in. I like that when the fire appears. Right now. No, wait. Now. Now. Oh, I found the elf. It hasn't appeared Yikes. yet either. Careful, huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Interesting. Is this the student? Yep, this Indeed is me. Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We wow. discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Interesting. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well, this seems then, to be it. The room can provide you with precisely that. Now, mm. it's time to focus on what you need. I need a Just million dollars! Imagine the room precisely as you need it. Whoa. The room will do the rest. I'm trying to take all this fucking Oh, I'm back here. Reality. Okay, what's happening? What's happening, y'all? It's just a big set of titties. Ah. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. What the hell is happening? If only my room can pick itself up like that. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. Look at Deke, he was so cute, I smiling and shit. I look what you do with the space. Yeah, me ah. too. And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It awesome. can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Oh, one good, I need that. always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Amazing. I wanted to use this. There was a couple things I had. Look at that. I got a tanned cloak and a sanguine mask. Sanguine. Probably could have flipped it You'll for more money, honestly. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Great. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It, it did. I hope you'll take advantage of Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. Conjuring spell. I guess you don't gotta say nothing for this one, you just wave your arm. Very good. 
When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You okay. should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give I'm me a I'm always thinking. Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar like since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Let's try this conjuring spell, shall we? Ooh, okay. Furniture, what did I want? A potting table. Ooh, conjure. Sick! Oh, black. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Great, thanks, Teach. I did want to fix this table. Here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate. Thank you, I Professor. I'll be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Okay, walls and floor. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. I don't think we need a rug. The rug's not doing it. It's not giving for me. You know, maybe I want to sit down. I don't know why I would want to, but I like the dapper with... All right, quickly just decorated and made this place my own. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles. Let's get started, shall we? Can I use this on some of my personality traits? There's a couple things I like to alter. <laughs> Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the ultimate spell to customize it. Oh, okay. Now I can fuck with this. I can fuck with this heavy. I want to do some men. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you? Deke, nah. would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. What she got, Deke? Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall what does Deke look know that I don't? to you? Okay, what do I like? A cool moonlit ambience sounds perfect. I like something natural and earthy. I focus best in a room that is dark and mysterious. Okay, let's cross things out. Dark and mysterious, definitely not. I do like something that's natural and earthy, but a moonlit ambience does sound perfect. But I think I'm gonna go natural and earthy. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. This motherfucker just decorated the way I did? Oh no, he's changing it. Alright, we made this place botanical. Deke it's beautiful. I love it. Let's move on. Alright, next up we gotta meet Sebastian. We gotta do a little quest with him, so let's see what that's about. Sebastian, okay. we're sneaking it's around been a again. While. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Yeah, bro. of course. For real. You took Scribner for the tried team. to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you no, find what you were looking lot. for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment. In the Undercroft. The Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Huh. I'm down to go to an Undercroft. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Secret passage, huh? Huh. Let's go to the Undercroft. Kind of sounds a little weird, but... 
With that, I will enter. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Wow. He named it the Undercroft. I suppose it's really cool. I feel like dueling. With my sister, Anne. She loved that game. Well, your sister so seems... I wouldn't give to this to her again. I like should girl. Tell I okay. swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. You got it, bro. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. Of course, man. We no, used I get to it. sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. That's cool, man. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his <coughs> wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse wow. it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Wow, that's Is that beautiful. how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one. I think if we played the ominous. side missions, we could definitely no learn a lot for his family or about their this like, wizarding world. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Huh. I'm interested in learning. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. Should I just get My darker? thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery form. Okay, you're gonna show me, man? It. I wanna learn it. Come on, teach me. Here we go. New spell. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Let's see this. Let's see what Confringo can do. Confringo. Have a go at those candelabras. Okay, Confringo seems lit. Nice Ooh. Work. That's it. Well Damn, that's sick. That's a move I could use for sure. Y'all seen the battles I've been in? I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day. There's something about that spell that's addictive. Addictive? Oh, addictive. I'm ready for more this spells. This is exactly like this. the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous okay. about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without well, her. Hey, I'm you sorry got me. about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Sure. Me, Tan. I'd like that. She could that. use some cheering up. And that I would. I'd Just be let glad me know to. when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, Lord meeting is. a new student will be precisely <clears throat> what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way. What was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. I'll tell you the truth. You must promise to keep this between us. He seems us. like a good guy. I, trust he, I owe him like... Secrets Undercroft. Yeah. You can trust me. I right. can trust this fool. I know it now. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? It means I'm Honestly, the best I'm wizard not entirely in the world. certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. Oh, shit! And this ability Shit's unveiling! Is, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. 
Perhaps we can help each other. Hey, I In think we can be more than friends. Both Rookwood and Ranrock after I'm you. Sorry. I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses <laughs> in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Got it, mate. It's us. It's only when us. I head to Feldcroft, I'll Confirm. send you down. So I gotta really remember like where all these little secret passages are, or I'm never gonna be able to get back in. Hello, Sebastian. Oh shit. Wait. I'm not. You there? Uh, oh shit. I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just oh, come from blind. the Undercroft? How did you get in there? I'm not gonna throw Sebastian under. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No oh, one fuck. stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. Uh, at least I didn't My throw him under. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. I promise not to say Trust anything. Me, Ominous, I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Whoa. I ain't ever punched a blind dude Sebastian before, but- Sebastian is going to be about this. You fucking bloody wanker. All right, let's see what's next. I'm gonna meet up with Fig real quick. Fig just sent me an owl. He says we need to meet. So, you know me being a good student that I am. I'm finna meet him. <laughs> Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimatize before term begins. I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas and I just black, headmaster. Huh. So maybe that's why he's talking to me, because he had to. I was hoping to see you. Fig, what's You're up? You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which- Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. I received a flurry of messages from Professor Black's house elf, Scrope. Scrope sent you messages? Yes. Mm. I thought it was Maybe all I shouldn't him. be saying all this to Fig. He I mean, he's always been there. Him and then told me to take the toast. Why would you want to take toast? To a cave under the lake. That's where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, right, we I found the missing this. pages. You found the <clears throat> I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I- Yeah, I'm really just catching them up on everything that. we already seen. The room is called the map chamber, by the way. Let's go show homeboy. I hope this isn't a bad idea that there. we're showing Faye. Like, Professor maybe this Rackham. is a fake thing. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Like, what oh, if this is Peeves. like he's doing a spell and that's not really him? Because, look, he's starting to find out all this new info. To think it was beneath us all this time. Surprise. Wow. It's like a man cave of the century. What we got going this on here? Looks promising. Holy in it, but whoa. 
Looks like a constellation, bro. You're, you got balls just walking on that. Oh, wow. Like fireflies. A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. A map? All this for a map? <clears throat> Come on. There's gotta be something more than a map. If only you were here to see this. Who? If only who was here to see Whoa! Hey Bucko. Let's speak to Hello, him. Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? That's and you, crazy. my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you Easy, recall man. the pensive memory you viewed in my vaulting Gringotts? Yeah, I, re I recall. You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials mm. you created for one mm. who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, He's got a, better memory a designation than we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with... You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. Yeah, I don't have time either. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, <laughs> sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I, I mean, do. he's standing then, there next to me, In man. the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Thanks for getting Whilst started Whilst Professor earlier. Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with... A Lighthouse, White House, Lighthouse. You may have seen it yourself. I believe it. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. I'll, see I'll you find there. you at the towers. Until then. All right. Well, uh, sweet. I'm gonna just follow you out because I'm a little lost in here and I really don't want to stay here by myself. Later, Rackin. Well, I'm gonna fast travel because I am walking. Handy resource indeed. To get to where I need to get with Professor Fig, as you can see, I have to continue going through the forest up into this point of unknown. So my camera is starting to overheat. I can see the temperature meter going off right now. So if you want me to continue and you want to see what it's like to go through this forest, smash the thumbs up right now and comment down below that you want the next part. I need to see the love if I'm going to continue doing this. If not, I'm going to give up. So I love you guys. Thanks for watching so far. I love you out of death and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Subscribe.